seemed to Ashley and indeed to us a good idea to put Fancy Day at the centre and have three suitors of equal merit circling her. Mr Shiner, who's got lots of money, Parson Maybold, who flatters her intelligence, and then the young, lusty Dick Dewey, this magnificent specimen of manhood. Do you know what I said to Mr Shiner's offer of marriage? I may have heard something. And what do you think about that, Mr Dewey? I have no opinion of my betters, miss. Are you going to give me my shirt, Miss Day? I haven't decided yet. Well, that's what I think. This is what I think. Okay, and rehearsal. Action. It happened at Long Puddle. That's some wheezing contraption of noise, replacing the choir that have been there for a hundred years and more. It did look at Miss Day in a warmer way than Christianity. It's a... He is the local chorister's son. Uh, and he's a tranter, or a carrier. Um, and they used to make their living by moving things from one farm or, or place to another, you know, or on the back of a cart. They had a horse and cart, and that's what gave them their profession. Um, so it's all about lugging things around and, and networking. You know, he's the, he's the uh, latter-day white van man, and that's what, that's what he would be. Hopefully a little bit, a bit more even-tempered and slightly better choice of music, but yeah, yeah, he's a white van man. Oh, you're doing good, Jerry. Is everything all right, Miss Day? Uh, yes, yes, thank you, Mr. Maybold. Uh, it's just... I'll, I'll be there shortly. Just the carrier, son, all covered in muck. Not fit to set before a parson and a rich man. Don't you dare make a scene here. I won't dream of doing such a thing, Miss Day. For a while I was blinded by your beauty, but I now see you for what you are. And what, pray, is that? I would marry the lowliest maid in the county if I loved her. Nor money, nor learning, nor opinion of others would force me from loving her. Dick, I... Goodbye, Miss Day. I hope you find what you're looking for. It's good to, you know, do a period costume job and be lucky enough to play the, the guy that gets the girl. Um, and if that were to happen again, uh, I'd certainly be grateful for it, yeah.